What's going on, folks? Welcome to another Road Reflections. I'm your host, Chris Mohan. Coming in from the car. A little car cast action. As you guys know, uh, live streams come back Monday through Wednesdays, 5 p.m. starting on May 17th. That's when the streams are going to be back in action. 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. They'll be back, guys. But uh, till then, I'm going to be doing some of these shorter car cast videos. So let's dive into uh, let's dive into these uh, for for today's topic. The first well, first thing I want to mention is is so it's May 2nd today or May 3rd today that I'm recording this, right? And uh, this past weekend was uh, the beginning of May, May 1st, which is May Day. Uh, which is a, a celebration of workers all across uh, all across the world and there was a lot of demonstrations but here in the United States here in the United States uh, we don't celebrate May Day we don't celebrate worker solidarity uh, instead what they wanted to do was loyalty day you gotta be loyal to America you guys are you guys loyal to America have you heard anything more authoritarian and fascistic than Loyalty Day? You gotta prove your loyalty to America. Have you done your part to make Jeff Bezos a little bit richer? Have you done your part in looking down on a blue collar worker? That's how you show loyalty to America. Have you overtaken your neighbor's yard? telling him that it's for their own safety and that eventually you will leave but first I need to stockpile a bunch of guns in your house and I'm also going to fund the, the neighbors down the street who want to take over your yard and that's who we're trying to keep you safe from that's what you do when you're loyal to America what an insult to fucking workers with this nationalistic fascistic rhetoric loyalty day over celebrating May Day over showing how much you want to be on the side of the workers but instead instead you want them to be loyal to a government that can't even give you a minimum wage a living wage they, they won't even do it a country where progressives, and this will kind of lead into the second thing I kind of want to talk to you guys about, uh, progressives are gaslighting Americans into thinking someone like Joe Biden, who has a record of, uh, of, of racist policies, of supporting racists like Strom Thurmond, Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, and is one of the people responsible for pushing the Democratic Party further to the right because he needed to look tough on crime because he needed to be a big tough man Joe Biden's a man just in case anybody forgot he's a big tough man so what's he gonna do he's gonna put some black people in prison baby with the 94 crime bill three strike rule him and Clinton are responsible for put, pretty much turning the Democrats into a conservative party a party that doesn't give a shit about why people commit crimes get, they, they don't give a shit about the trauma that somebody might be living under they don't give a shit why addiction happens they don't give a shit why violence happens they just want it off the streets and guess what they're gonna correlate all those things with black Americans and brown Americans they're going to go to war. They're going to create this nationalistic rhetoric. That's the loyalty. That's the loyalty that America demands. And you have progressives. There's an NBC article that just came out. Uh, that, that said, uh, you know, Joe Biden is exceeding progressives' expectations. And you have people like Jamal Bowman, Ilhan Omar, AOC, that all come out. And they say, oh, he's doing such a great job. Look at that COVID relief we got. Huh? That one-time payment of 1400 bucks. What is it? What is what does that mean for you? What is what does that mean for you? 1400 bucks. It's 
one month of rent. Great. Joe Biden helped you for one month out of his four-year term. The rest, the rest of the, the time, the three years and 11 months that he's going to stay uh, in office is going to be dedicated to helping corporations, is to engage in more wars, is to demonize socialism, is to re uh, uh, reject health care for Americans. Progressives are coming out saying he's doing a great job. That's what the article said. Oh man, look at him. He said that genocides exist. The Armenian genocide was a genocide, he said. He said it. He did the thing where he said the words and then did nothing else about it. He didn't use his position of power for dick all, but he said it. He said the thing. It's like, yeah, no shit, man. Like, you don't get points, or rather, you shouldn't get points for stating the fucking obvious. You shouldn't get points for stating the obvious. If he went up there and was just like, you shouldn't curb stomp dogs. It's mean. It's wrong. And everybody just goes, what a progressive president he is. You shouldn't trip elderly into traffic. Oh my God, this guy is more progressive than FDR. He doesn't want to actively murder elderly people with vehicles. We've never seen a progressive president like him before. We shouldn't set fire to homes with people inside of it. Now ignore what we're doing across countries where we're literally bombing and setting fire to homes. Like, this is ridiculous. This is the highest form of gaslighting. You, and then you also have like a former Bernie staffer saying that, oh yeah, if Bernie was in office, you know, he wouldn't be able to get anything done. So there's Bernie, like former Bernie supporters not that I'm a huge Bernie supporter right now. I'm, 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 you know, pretty disappointed in the guy. But even, even they're coming out and, and fucking throwing Bernie under the bus. And then Bernie throws himself under the bus by saying, "Oh man, Joe Biden's so progressive on climate change without banning fracking and still giving fossil fuel industries, you know, subsidies and shit." This guy does, is not doing anything progressive. And then halfway through the article, you have, you have. You know, these progressives that are like, he surprised us at how progressive he is. They're, they're like, yeah, he can do more for the fight for, you know, uh, increasing the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Um, and, uh, and a couple of things that I'm uh, having a little bit of trouble remembering from the article. Uh, what else did he say? There's a few other things that they were like, oh, he's so progressive, and then but then they complained that he's not progressive enough. Health healthcare is another one of those things where he's like, oh, they're like, oh, but he could be better about this. So then it's just like, wait, is he progressive or is he not progressive? Because the, what they're touting is they're touting that he's approved a $15 minimum wage increase, but it's only for federal employees. So it's like this very small percentage of people that actually get a $15 an hour increase in minimum wage. And all this article is doing is trying to trying to propagandize that you know centrist and moderate uh, policies are actually progressive. That incrementalism is actually progressive. And so, in that regard, again, they're they're moving. This is another thing, again, like the Democrats moved further to the right uh, with, with Joe Biden at the helm creating the crime bill and, and Bill Clinton helping him out in, in regards to that. And now what they're doing is that they're moving the progressives over to the right. So now moderate is going to end up being, um, moderate's going to end up being, you know, more Republican and what moderate right now is will wind up being progressive. Does this make sense? I kind of know I kind of just said the word moderate 112 times 
in a row there. But but you see, that's what this article is trying to do. It's trying to push uh, right-wing philosophies as progressive ideologies. And they're using Biden as, as a way to do that, right? Uh, crime, crime Bill Joe. Crime Bill Joe is being touted as, as, as progressive of, as FDR. Not that FDR was a, a incredible, but in terms of in terms of modern politics, he he was progressive. Com compared to compared to any other president that we've had in the last thirty years, he was progressive. But you know, he wasn't without his faults, and there are many to name. And this is this is who you, you kind of see all the cards being put into place. This is who they want loyalty towards. This is why whenever you criticize the Democratic Party, you get in trouble for it. You read an article where where the 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 le, uh, liberal media uh, outlet s claims that there was a conspiracy and a, a and collusion and all that kind of stuff in order to get Joe Biden elected, and then they and then they they put a strike on your channel for reading the fucking article. Because you pointed out what you, you, you pointed out their fucking their game. That was to my channel specifically. That's that's what happened to my channel. The Democrats want loyalty. They even came out and said it. On the day where where you're supposed to celebrate the working class and share some worker solidarity, instead of doing that, they said, Hey workers you need to be loyal to us. And you have progressives gaslighting the American people and saying that, yeah, you should you should have loyalties to Joe Biden. We're going to lie halfway through the article. We're also going to point out how he's not really progressive. But we're going to keep saying that he's progressive. So, you know, average Democrat voters that aren't really on the pulse of things will assume that he is. And anybody that's not loyal is clearly a, a, a Russian agent or a Cuban agent or a Chinese agent or a Republican agent. They're an agent of something. I'm not loyal to fucking Joe Biden or the Democratic Party. I've, I've never been. Uh, I've never been a loyalist to either of those things. And if you want to pigeonhole me into the into one of these parties because, you know, you, I'm I'm brown, so henceforth that means, oh yeah, this guy must vote for must vote for that D. You're wrong, and you're taking away my autonomy and my identity. I have no intention on supporting this party that has no intention on supporting any workers. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get that, get that out there, because, again, people in this country don't have a lot of media literacy, so it becomes a little bit of a problem. A uh, little short video, a little short video to get you through, but uh, I'll probably be doing a little bit more of these over the course of the next two weeks or so, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and there's a ton of other stuff on this channel. There's a ton of other uh, videos coming out soon. Uh, so stay tuned. If you want to support my work, if you want to make a donation, check out my albums, check out past episodes of Road Reflections, Taboo Table Talk, Forkful of Noodles, get tickets for virtual comedy shows. Go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday, y'all. See you guys later. Bye.